Delaney and welcome to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Leave it down below. You know I love hearing from you. I do have to mention, if you can hear all kinds of noise in my video, I am so sorry. It is so rainy and gloomy. And whenever it rains, the road noise outside just amplifies by 10. And I don't know what's going on in town today, but like everybody's out and about. So, so sorry for that. I feel like I start every video with, I'm excited, but it's because I am. I just love getting to hang out with you guys and chat about my favorite things. So today we're gonna do that. I have a new fragrance, you know, I had to. Yes, I picked up Navitus Melon Kiss. This is the collab with Gabby Loves Perfumes and I love her channel. I picked up her first launch with Navitus. Her Baklava Royale is on my wish list. And then when I saw she launched Melon Kiss, I was like, a honeydew note? Okay, I'm in, I had to. So if you love fragrance content, beauty content, and a little bit of lifestyle content, make sure you click that subscribe button and join the fam. I have to say it, I have 40% of my regular viewers actually subscribe. That means 60% of you come back and watch but you don't click the button. It helps my channel grow and I would just love to see you return and come back and really be a part of this community so make sure you click that button. So if you wanna hear my thoughts and I've actually given this a good wear, then make sure you just keep watching. I have worn this two days in a row. I thought about doing a first impression, but I was like, no, I really want to wear it and have full thoughts instead of just a first impression. So I've worn it two days and now I'm ready to share it with you. Of course, I've got to refresh the memory. First of all, the packaging. Is this not so cute? I personally love this shape of bottle that Navitus went with compared to their old square bottles. I just think this fits in the hand better. It's a little more luxe, pretty eye-catching, as well as I love that this one is quite see-through compared to some of the other bottles I have in my collection, and I love the ombre effect. Green is not my favorite color, but I totally understand why Gabby went with that. This is a honeydew fragrance, so the color is pretty perfect. I personally feel like if you pick up Navitus when it first launches an influencer collab with that discount, the price is great. You get a nice big bottle. You get the luxurious experience of actually opening up a heavy weighted bottle that you can tell, okay, this is niche compared to a lot of designer fragrances. But the price with the discount is designer. It's like, if I'm gonna spend over $100 for a fragrance, then why not get something niche and a little bit unique? And honestly, with this having a honeydew note, I put this in the unique category. I don't have anything else in my collection with a honeydew note. That is what drew me in and I was like, yes, I need it. I had flashbacks to a honeydew lip gloss I bought when I was in high school that I was obsessed with. She reminds me of it. So in here we have notes of honeydew and bergamot at the top. More melon and coconut milk in the mid. And then in the base, we have creamed honey and Madagascar vanilla. And I'm gonna tell you this one is not an adventure for me. I don't get like really that opening, that mid, that base, even when I've worn it all day. To me, I truly get like the realest form of a honeydew throughout the whole experience. And I know it's gonna be a little bit different for everybody. Everybody's nose picks up different things. My first spray, when it first arrived without wearing it, I picked up a lot of the coconut milk. And I was kind of like, oh, I'm a little sad. I don't get a ton of that melon. The day I actually wore it, all day long, I get a lot of the honeydew. Don't let that creamed honey scare you if you're not a honey lover. Honestly, even when I try like thinking honey and smelling it, I don't get honey. To me, the creamed honey mixes in with the honeydew where it is just giving the most perfectly ripe honeydew you've ever had. Honeydew is actually one of my favorite melons, but you have to get a good one. To me, honeydew, if it is underripe, it's just met, it's bland, it's not enjoyable or yummy. When it is ultra ripe, it is so good because it's so sweet. I find it to be like almost a creamy experience. It's like a creamy melon and it almost like melts in your mouth because it's soft and smooth, unlike watermelon where it has kind of that gritty, pulpy experience. The creamed honey blends in with the honeydew to just give me that creamy, almost mouth feel I get from a really ripe honeydew. It just pairs beautifully with the melon note. I mean, it really does. 
I do like honey in my fragrances, but again, I don't pick up true honey. I just get that creamy melon vibe. I think it really sweetens this up. Again, going that very, very ripe honeydew route. And I feel the same about the vanilla in the dry down. I feel like it just keeps bringing out more creaminess, a bit more sweetness. The interesting thing is it did remind me of a fragrance I have in my collection. In my scent bubble, like as I would move throughout the day or move in my office and I would catch a whiff of this, it brought to mind Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. And I think that's because that also has a coconut milk note. And truly, this is coconut milk. Again, it is creamy. It's not lactonic, but it's creamy. The creamed honey, the honeydew come together to make this very sweet, almost bubblegum like scent cloud. And then that coconut milk adds in that extra little splash of creaminess. And in the scent bubble, it really was reminding me of Boardwalk Delight. If you remove the cotton candy note from Boardwalk Delight and imagine it with the melon note, this is Melon Kiss. Okay, I had to pop back on because I saw something and it made me think that another fragrance I could compare this to, now they don't smell alike, but my way, how sweet it is, how bubblegummy it is, very much reminds me of that, but instead of tuberose bubblegummy vibes, it is sweet melon bubblegummy vibe. I hope that makes sense. I just thought, you know what, that is another one I could put this in a similar category to help you guys understand the vibe of Melon Kiss. There is something almost a little fresh in there and I get that from Boardwalk Delight as well. I'm sorry to keep bringing it back to Boardwalk Delight, but I feel like so many of us have smelled that, so it's just a great comparison. The scent cloud is beautiful. Again, very sweet, candy, bubblegummy, and creamy with that coconut. There is something springy, summery, but not vacation vibes. Like I could wear this on vacation, but it's not going so tropical, so coconut, that it's really putting my mindset to vacation mode only. Like I feel like you could wear this throughout the spring, throughout the summer, and just low key at home. I will say for Navitus fragrances, some of them go pretty darn unisex for me. This is extremely feminine. Um, this one, if I apply too much, I could see it going, uh, because it is sweet. When I wore it over the two days, I did a good spray. I think I probably did, I'm gonna say four, maybe five sprays. I got a good wear out of it. I felt like I had a nice scent bubble, but I didn't find myself cloying. I don't think I was gonna knock anybody out. I could enjoy the scent on myself, and I'm sure others could get um, whiffs of it as I was walking by. So I feel like I'm gonna put this in the moderate projection and moderate longevity. If I was going for an ultra long day wear, I'm putting on a few sprays before work, and then after work, I'm gonna go out with friends. I probably would bring this with me and do like three more sprays just to really top it off. The words that come to mind for this fragrance for me are luscious and edible, truly. This just smells like the most perfectly ripe honeydew that you wanna take a big bite out of. You know I love blind buy. This one I feel like is one that I really recommend picking up a sample first just because it is so unique with that honeydew note that I don't think a lot of us are super familiar with it in fragrance. I think the sweetness is gonna to be too sweet for some because it truly almost goes candy for me. And when I picture the woman wearing this, I picture cute little cut off jeans with hoop earrings and some cute platform sandals. This does not go black tie, elegant, bridal or anything like that for me. This is definitely on the more fun, flirty, playful side. Or a great little sundress. I could definitely see someone in a great little sundress pulling this off. Will I wear her to work? Of course I will. But that's the vibe I'm getting. Those are my thoughts. All right guys, those are my thoughts on the new Melon Kiss Parfum by Navitu. Truly, I can say this is something fun that I am excited to have on my Navitu shelf. I'm becoming quite the fan of Navitu. Did you guys pick up Melon Kiss? Are you thinking about it? Have you picked up any samples? I would love to hear your thoughts. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>